No bold detailing. Honor and integrity. Call or text 585-993-1636. At the recent Board of County Commissioners meeting, a presentation was given regarding an upcoming project to reroute Highway 95 around Gemfield Resources' new mining area. Lee Jacoby, the construction manager representing Elko Mining Group, begins his presentation. Uh, so the location of the project, it's in Esmeralda County. Um, the project begins about a half a mile north of Goldfield. It's about two and a half miles of highway relocation. So it's, it's you know, very close to the town um, of Goldfield. And as part of that project, we're going to relocate the highway about a half a mile to the west. Um, to uh, be able to, like I said, construct a mine under the existing highway. As part of that project, the county is also doing a waterline upgrade and relocation project. Um, all the existing utilities that run along the, the west side of the, the NDOT right away now are going to get relocated to the west of the new alignment. Um, there are NV Energy power line, and on that power line, there's also a switch fiber optic communications line. Currently, they have construction ponds next to the highway to get construction water. They've already had a groundbreaking ceremony to kick off the project. They are also waiting for the Nevada Department of Transportation encroachment permit for the highway to be issued. They expect to complete construction in April. Lee Jacoby speaks about the benefits and details of this project. He says it'll employ approximately 80 workers. The existing 95 will remain in place and active until realignment construction is complete. There will also be tie-ins at the north and south ends connecting the existing 95 with the new alignment. Lee Jacoby speaks about housing for the workers. So for my staff, I've got 14 individuals that's inspectors, testers, and surveyors that are going to be doing construction management. Um, we have several people staying in Tonopah, either at hotels or at RV parks. Um, and there's several of us that are staying in Goldfield. Um, I'm actually staying in Goldfield for the duration of the project because of the vicinity of the project in case there's issues. But we've got um, quite a few people spread out between Goldfield and Tonopah. And I believe the contractor, I think most of their people are staying in Tonopah, Tonopah either at hotels or at some of the long-term uh, um, yeah, the family camps, yeah. Um, but then there also also are some people staying in Goldfield, so essentially between the two towns, that's where everyone's staying. Jacoby gives a final comment before the items end. Radio Goldfield will be doing updates. We'll also be doing some uh, blasting out some information as we get farther into the project that I'm sure will get sent to you guys as well through Kyle. So Good. Okay, thank but you. You're going to be, you you're the man on the on the ground, yeah. though. I'll be there, yeah. I'm you're the, the manager. Lucky, okay. yeah. lucky you. Yeah. <laughs> if there's any issues, just give me a call. Okay. Thank you. Thank you.